Speed Edit allows you to work with a variety of still images and I've got some stills here and whether you're in an HD project or an SD project you can use pretty much any resolution still that you want. I'm in an HD 1080i project right here and I'll go ahead and bring in a still image that was shot 4x3 and you'll see it's going to go ahead and pillar box that so it's going to maintain the appropriate aspect ratio. Uh, now you could of course enlarge this picture to uh, take up the whole screen simply by going to the control tree, going to the positioner, grabbing a corner here, sizing the image up and then you could even go in and reposition the image where you want it on the screen. Now we also have the ability to do pan and scan on our images here and this means let's go ahead and bring up another image. I've got this image of this lizard here and I want to do a pan and scan so I want to be able to zoom in on it and roam around on it a little bit. So to do that I'm going to go to the control tree and let's go ahead and zoom in on him and have him fill the screen to start and I want to start down on his tail here and we'll go ahead and create a keyframe there and then uh, we'll just go ahead about halfway out to about two seconds or so we're gonna come down and I'm gonna zoom in give myself a little bit of a pan and a zoom at the same time and we're gonna use ease in and ease in is gonna give us a nice smooth stop to our motion so that looks pretty good. Again, if you go back and you look at your spline right now, this is the spline for the motion, and you can see it's got a nice curve coming in, and that's because we have ease in turned on. If you turn ease in off, you'll see that you get this linear motion, and with no ease in, you're going to get a much rougher stop. But again, we come back and we turn ease in on, gives us that nice smooth motion, and a nice smooth stop. Now we can of course use images that have uh, transparency or alpha channel. We can even use PSD files directly from Photoshop. So here I have a PSD file and I'll go ahead and hit Y to turn on overlay. And then uh, I'll go ahead and set up some animation on that. Let's go to the positioner and say at the beginning of the clip I'm going to go ahead and back it off. Let's create a keyframe there. And then uh, all the way out here at the end of the clip, or almost at the end of the clip, we're going to go ahead and bring this forward again with a nice ease in and now you can see we have our animation happening on both the still of the lizard and on our PSD of the logo and it looks great with our ease in motion whenever you work with still images especially if they've been scanned and you're working with something that has text if you've ever scanned a newspaper or you know, a photograph and then you try and do some very close-up work on it uh, sometimes it can break down well one thing you can always do to images when you're working within speed edit is click on the image that you're working with and go to the layer settings and you have an option in here for image super sampling and image super sampling is going to increase the amount of quality that you have on any of the scaling that's done on that image and it may cause the image not to play back in real time it may stutter if you're playing it in a project now if you've got a bunch of images in there that are image super sample but when you render out your final project they're gonna look gorgeous uh, so it's a great way to get the maximum amount of quality out of an image and remove any kind of moiré patterns or any kind of distortions that are happening when you're panning and scanning on an image. Speed Edit allows you to work with image sequences very quickly and easily as well. Let's go ahead and find a piece of video that we want to work with as a background. So we'll come in here and find a piece of video. Uh, we'll go with the ever popular monorail and I'm gonna hit G to expand it to its full length. I'm gonna double click and we can see the monorail video coming across. Now I've got some image sequences that were rendered and these were rendered from Lightwave but they could be rendered from any third-party application, external application, doesn't matter. So if you're working in a 3D application or an image manipulation program uh, and it wants to render out image sequences and target sequences or PNG sequences that have alpha channel then Speed Edit can work very very easily with these. Uh, let's go out to our stills directory and I have some frames in here. I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Now you'll notice that this is an image sequence and they are individual frames inside of this directory. But I can hold down the Alt key and if I drag the first frame in it brings in all of the frames and treats them like a clip. 
So if I scrub through them, you can see the motion graphic that was rendered out of light wave and frames, and now we can see it inside of speed edit. Of course, we hit the Y key, and that turns on overlay, and now we can see the graphic displayed over the top of our video.